Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Galaxy. If you won't believe it, you're not going to believe it. We have sound. I can tell we have sound. Captain Dorgan, go. I'll take you on. Space pirates, are they really? Jester. Uh, Raul, what are you doing here? Thought you could just leave without saying anything? I'm sorry. I didn't want you to try to stop me. Me? Stop you? I... I want to leave this planet and travel through space. I want to see new things and learn about this vast galaxy we live in. It's been my dream since I was little. Come on, Raul. What do you say? <sighs> I'm sorry, Raul. Thank you so much for raising me and taking care of me. Well, I'm off. Wait. I always knew this day would come. Do you remember when you were just a boy? We'd always look up at the stars together. Yeah. Of course I remember. We'd gaze up at the stars and talk about outer space. You know, Raul, I've made up my mind. I want to go into space one day. 
Really? And what would you do out there? Huh? Well, um... I don't know. I don't know, but I still want to go, for sure. Can I, Raul? Huh? Can I? Of course you can, Jaster. You can do anything you want. Uh-huh. Right now, your eyes are shining just like they were back then. Self-assured, straightforward eyes. I don't think I could stop you if I tried. Go, Jaster. But I want you to remember something. You're the only family I've got. From the moment I first held you, a crying little baby, 17 years ago, I've come to think of you as my son. And that, my boy, will never, ever change. Raul. I'll be waiting here for your return. I'm sure it'll be a little lonely. Raul. Someday, I'm gonna save everyone on this planet. I can't let Rosa remain in slavery forever. Then I'll stay here, hoping and praying for your success. Take care of yourself, Jaster. ship, huh? And so comes the end of one long day. Come dawn, I'll be leaving this planet. Something up there is waiting for me. I can feel it. And that's why... I'm going into space. Almost morning. Hey, Chester! Over here, big man! Hey! Whoa! Uh, what gives? Uh, uh, uh. What the?
nice tombstone for you. Son of a... Huh. I'm not about to... Check out now! Uh, 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 what the hell is that thing? Close one. <sighs> Who are you? Now that's what I call a close shave! Seeing monsters that big and ugly nearly sent me into a tailspin myself! We didn't mean to leave you out there like that. We fully intended to come back for you later, I swear. It doesn't matter. I got saved in the end. Listen, that girl back there... You mean Kasala? Wow, you sure don't waste any time. That's Desert Claw for you. Listen, though, don't you be getting any ideas, big man. To tell you the truth, she's... Hmm. So this is the guy. The legendary hunter, Desert Claw. Are you... Captain Dorgan Goa? Huh? <laughs> hey, Bolthead, set this kid straight. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Zegram Gart, the Black Wolf. He's a bounty hunter handpicked by our boss, like you. He's skilled all right, but he's got a big gob on him. Says he's a lone wolf. I think he just doesn't have any friends. I hate teaming up with small fries. Never expected Desert Claw to be such a youngster. Guess you can't trust rumors, can you? Anyway, nice to meet you, Desert Claw. Hey! So you're Desert Claw? Hmm. Wait, you're... The one and only, first mate, Muncha! Uh... Is the captain still napping? Oh, he can be such a pain. Oh! The Desert Claw has a shrewd look about him. That's what the Captain would have said. I'm sure of it. When the Captain's not around, I'm the one in charge. And Desert Claw or not, you'd better follow orders. You got that? Uh... okay. 
Excellent. Now that that's out of the way, you're an official crew member on the Dorganok. All right. Now that we have the legendary hunter Desert Claw on our side, nothing can stop us. The treasures of the universe are ours for the taking. <sighs> Sure. Maybe to some planet somewhere. Really? What do they have on other planets? Well, all sorts of things. Like what? What kind of things do you mean? I've never been myself, so I don't really know. Ah, oh, Raul, you're no fun. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I happen to like this planet. As long as I can live here, I'll be satisfied. Really? But I want to go into space. I want to explore the galaxy and see what it's like out there. Oh, really? I'm sure you will one day. Yep, and I bet it will be super cool. And when I come back, I'll tell you all about it, Raul. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing. So, what do we do now? Oh, that's right. I forgot. Now we head for Zerard. Zerard? Goodness, haven't you heard of it? It's very advanced. The most civilized planet in the galaxy. So, why are we going there? We've got some important business there. Dorgan Ark, full speed ahead! Aye, aye! Your instructions will follow. Now, I've got some lunch to eat, so if you'll excuse me, I'll be seeing you all later. Meow! You can take it easy too, Mr. Rogue. Perhaps you'd like to have a look around the ship while we're in transit. Good idea. I mean, after all, this place is your home now, isn't it? ship sure has been through a lot. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, Mr. Rogue, what do you think? Huh. I like it. The Dorganark may be a little old, but it's still the best in the galaxy. Whenever I leave the ship, I can't wait until we get back so I can take the helm again. The best in the galaxy. I like the sound of that. Very good. By the way, can I ask you something? Of course, what is it? Why is Dorgan Goa scouting out all of these great hunters? He must have something in mind. Well, um... Uh, maybe you'd better ask the captain yourself. It's not really my place to say. Yeah, I figured as much. I mean, Dorgan Go is going so far as to scout hunters from all over the universe. But for what purpose? Oh, uh, say, we're about to pass through the Rose Nebula. Why don't you go up on deck and take a look? Best seat in town. I've opened the locks on the deck hatch. You can get there from the lower staircase. Got it. I'll check it out. Oh, hey. Thanks for saving me earlier. Oh, it was nothing. Not bad, huh? That's because I'm a pirate, too. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh. I always pictured Desert Claw as someone a little more intimidating. Huh? But you've got awfully pretty eyes. Uh. Hmm. You sure don't look uh. like a battle-hardened hero. In fact, you uh, might just be a big huh, fake. Uh, um, I... Look! It's the Rose Nebula! What? <sighs> it's beautiful. love this place. I don't know why, but looking at the stars somehow calms me. Hmm. Same here. I've always wanted to be up in space. My dreams finally come true. <laughs> you sure don't sound like the galaxy's top bounty hunter. Well, uh, I mean... So what? I guess. My name's Kisala. Nice to meet you, Desert Claw. I'm Jaster. Jaster Rogue. Hi. Jaster? Oh, right. Have you met Papa yet? Papa? My dad, Dorgan Goa. He's the captain of this ship. What? So, you're... Right. His daughter. <laughs> Huh? What the?
Oh, I thought we were done for. Uh, uh, ow. <laughs> I'm alive! We were supposed to go to Zarad, but just our luck, we've crash-landed on Jeraika of all places. Whoop-dee-doo! So, this is Jeraika, the jungle planet. Well, can you fix it? Almost everything can be repaired right away, but the engine... This is definitely going to take some time. Oh no! This is just fantastic! The fixes are no big thing, but we're all out of booster oil! You're kidding! Now what? There aren't any starship markets on Jerica. What are we supposed to do? Come on. That's no way for a bunch of space pirates to act. All right, listen up, you rank amateurs. That oil is made from the fruit of a particular tree that has highly flammable sap. Apparently, that fruit grows on a certain jungle planet. I think you get my drift. Of course, that's right. I remember now. The booster oil we need comes from this fire fruit that's harvested here on Jerica. If we can get a hold of some of that fruit, we'd be able to make more oil with it. Very good, Bolthead. Fire fruit, huh? Let's go. 
Simon, Steve, we'll leave the repairs to you. Aye, aye! Did we have to land on such a sweltering planet? Let's hurry and find someone. like this, you never know what'll happen.
Where do we start looking? Strange. This area should be full of fire fruit, but there's not a single one to be found. What's going on? I wonder, could someone have already taken them all? That's impossible. Nobody could take all of the fruit in the jungle. Well, maybe huge troops of monkeys are eating all the fruit. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Let's look a little farther in. Just a warning. Don't mess around with the people here. Let's take care of this before anything weird happens. Yeah! Ah! 
How are we supposed to deal with this? Popping up like crazy. I'll take you on. Must be their territory from here on in. There? The Burkakwa. They're a Jerikan tribe, and they don't like dealing with outsiders. you in 10 seconds flat you're kidding well what next desert claw should we hightail it if people are around there ought to be a village we might be able to ask them about that fire fruit you mean you actually want to go to their village you got a death wish or what there's still people we can reason with them oh yeah wouldn't that be nice <laughs> We got us a daredevil here. Come on. Hmm, nobody's here.
Keep your guards up, everyone. You think I'm gonna go easy? Here they come. Bastards. challenge at all. We gotta stand around here.